We'll insert these new rows at row 8, so click on the row 8 header to highlight it. Now open the Insert menu and click on the Insert Row command. When you do, a blank row appears above the last record. The Insert command has a particular mode of operation you should always remember. Let's see how inserting this row affects what has happened to the dues formula. Click on cell D10, Suzanne. The formula now tells us that it sums the contents of cells D4 through D9. This tells us that any numbers entered in the newly inserted row D8 will be included in the calculations for this total. And if you were to look at the other formulas on row 10, you would see that they have also changed to accommodate the new row.